today's messengers are quiet retreat and let go of guilt. Good morning. Welcome back to the Daily Vitamin where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness. My name is Kate Mariah. I'm a master empath and intuitive coach for sensitive souls, star seeds, empaths, earth angels, and other neurodivergent individuals on a spiritual awakening journey. Uh, this is a really beautiful message. I feel like this is tying into an overarching theme that we are going to feel woven throughout the month, woven throughout the month of November and allowing us to move forward in a much more liberated way. But right now there may be a request or a requirement for you to step back, take some time, maybe do less. <laughs> uh, I can relate to that for sure. There's a shifting of priorities and focus and a redirection of energy that's stirring within your system right now in order to reallocate, I'm hearing your resources and reserves. So these, these are your talents. These are your skills. This is your focus. This is your energy. This is your bandwidth. This is your social battery, right? This is your money. This is your time. This is your physical boundaries as well and your physical accessibility. I feel that there's something that might be <clears throat> winding down or even powering down altogether, uh, depending on how stubborn you are. <laughs> Uh, and this could look like, you know, feeling under the weather, catching a cold, um, not having enough energy, needing a duvet day or a mental health day, um, not feeling fully able to show up in the way that you demand of yourself on a regular basis because there's, there's a shift that's happening within you. There's a purge that's happening within you. And it's asking for there's different ways that we can purge you can purge you can release the density you can have an energy healing you can receive reiki right and you can dissipate and remove any burdensome density or, or black goo energetically speaking and sometimes when we go through that most of the time we don't even realize what it is that's breaking out of our system right that's that we are liberating ourselves from we just know that we feel better afterwards there's something about this purge, this release, that there is a moment of acknowledgement as it goes out the door. It's like one, one last look. And this could look like you reflecting upon your past and past situations and past instances with a higher perspective and a lens of clarity that you've actually never had before. You've never been able to see it <clears throat> in such a crystal clear way before. You may even be able to articulate it in a way now. You might have words now that you weren't able to conjure before because you were weighed down by whatever this is. And this can be a pattern. This can be an emotion. This can be a belief system. This can also, I want to say like internalized shame, internalized chaos, internalized anxiety, or internalized distress. Like there's a sense of your chemical interaction with the world around you. They're not being support or tools or a proper channel for you to direct this energy outwards. So you internalized it and over time, maybe even over the years, this has hardened and cemented in your system, in your body, in your heart, in your fascia. This has hardened and cemented in place. So you're being asked to maybe take a day or two or five, whatever is necessary. Whatever is required, I'm hearing required, whatever is required, you will know, you will know if you're not able to go into work, if you're not able to make those social plans, if you're not able to be as productive as you usually demand of yourself, because this feels like a priority in order to liberate yourself from any notion or experience or memory of victimization, of disempowerment, 
of chaos and being off kilter and off balance in any way. This is part of your process of strengthening and solidifying a true embodiment of a higher access that you've now been able to reach in order to fully embody a higher source energy within your physical form. And it will feel lighter and it will feel better and you will feel more free and you will visibly be able to see the shifts and the changes once this is complete, once this is done. So you may be feeling called to quite literally do a detox. Um, you might have an illness or, you know, food poisoning that might cause you to quite literally purge. You may be feeling called to do plant medicine or combo, uh, spend time with, you know, grandmother ayahuasca or do a combo ceremony in order to facilitate and, and assist the purge. There's something here that it's not just guilt that's been cemented within your system. This is... It's indoctrination, it's, it's programming, it's belief system, it's influence that you have adopted, you've inherited, you've internalized, and it's done, it's played its role. The, the, the course is complete, it's run its course, and it no longer serves you, and you're ready to release it because it doesn't reflect who you are and who you know yourself to be. So permit yourself, allow yourself to go dark for a couple days. Um, you know, maybe just connect with your inner circle, your closest friends. Um, love yourself truly. Forgive yourself. Forgive God. Forgive your angels for allowing yourself to that get that close to pain and find the lesson within the pain as it leaves because it's no longer present, it's no longer here, it's not in this now moment, it is no longer a part of your reality. It is leaving so that you don't continue to carry this forward with you. So if I don't hear from you for a couple days, I'm not gonna take it personally. Because <laughs> this is a time for a quiet retreat. With that, my lovelies, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm sending you so much love. And I will see you again soon.